You know the glass of water? You're right. Oh, you tell me, you're swinging at me? You got it? Good. All right, well, it's good to have you online with us. We're going to introduce um, Ronnie and Mel from Imani Fitness. <laughs> Put them hands together, come on! Yeah! on the east coast of Africa. Has, everybody, has anybody ever been to Africa? I'd love to go. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. You, should. you should go. Anyway, um, I, I've been in Australia for almost nine years and uh, I end up, I met my ex in Kenya and that's how I ended up in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> short, short story. <laughs> anyway, um, before I was living and working in uh, in Queensland, I've done a couple of jobs. Then I was working there as a firefighter with Queensland Fire and Rescue. Then uh, I had a chance to drive around Australia, pretty much from who knows where Cairns is, in, uh, yeah. where, yeah. where Townsville is in, yeah. in Queensland, final of Queensland, all along the coast to Adelaide. I was in Melbourne for three days and mm -hmm. fell in love with Melbourne. So the reasons why I fell in love with Melbourne was... Because of me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, beautiful people like you. Um, um, where I come from, there's 44 tribes. So we all speak 44 different languages. Wow. English is our official language. So if you go to school, you like educated in English, then our national language is Swahili. That's what everyone communicates. Um, there are tribes in my country that I never met when I was in my country. Just like you know that the English exists, but maybe you've never met an English. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. But I met them in Melbourne, African food, the culture, I, I just love the vibe. So I went back, quit everything that I was doing, gave up, gave out all my stuff and sold some of my stuff, then drove to Melbourne. I didn't know what I was coming to do. I was like, I just wanted to go and start afresh. Yeah. So I have two beautiful daughters, twin girls, Eva and Charlotte. And um, they're in Queensland with the mom, but I see them in holidays. So we see them in two, two weeks or three weeks. Yeah, we're going up, we're going up yep. in two weeks. So I had, to, I had to make a sacrifice of leaving them there and just seeing them on holiday to come here and find myself and start off again. Because sometimes in life, we, we have to put ourselves first before we're able to help others. Otherwise, we're only giving our loved ones what's left of us and not the best of us. There was no point of me staying in Queensland when I was not going to be the best dad. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I made a decision to come to Melbourne and 
at some point I met this beautiful girl. Yeah, you can't find me. Yeah, uh. <laughs> I pretty much came to find her, and uh, that's how I found myself in Melbourne. Um, cool. So, what do you guys want to get out tonight? I have no idea. No idea. What's your biggest? Anyone? Yeah. What's your biggest struggle in life? What do you struggle with the most? Motivation. Motivation. Life in general. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 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 the word life. Yeah. <laughs> Such a typical word. So motivation. That's a powerful word. That's a good one. Any other person? Um, confidence. Confidence. That's good. Yep. Dealing with people. As in um, relationships. Relationships. Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't figure that out. That <laughs> Motivation, confidence, relationships. What else, guys? Getting out of bed in the morning. <laughs> Getting out of bed in the morning. Yes. Yeah. So health. Yeah. Health. Mental and physical. Yeah. Mental and physical health. Fitness. That's it. Fitness. What does fitness mean to you? What do you mean by fitness? Like actual fitness. <laughs> Actually, yeah. Do you yeah, yeah. just sitting up in your bed in the morning? Yeah. What does that mean? What does that mean to you? Like for one person, it might be running 20 kilometers. For one person, it might just be walking without half an impact. So, so, walking a certain mile or a kilometer. Yeah. Riding a bike. Yeah. A daily exercise. Yeah, daily so, exercises. Yeah. That might mean, yeah, like you said, a certain distance walking yeah. or running. Um, healthy communication slash surroundings. Okay. <laughs> Healthy communication slash so surroundings. So, so, yeah, healthy your environment. Environment. Yeah. 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 And what, when you say communication, like um, <laughs> the people around the pe you. People around you depend like um, better ways to think how you should express yourself. Okay. Like sometimes I know sometimes I get angry yep. and I lash out at some people I shouldn't. Yep. But like, so like trying to know yourself better <laughs> so you don't do that so you become more healthy yep yeah cool so so pretty much knowing how you react to things and yeah yeah <clears throat> you raise something up front That's anything else anything um, else guys yeah my writing probably is it's pretty nice thank you <laughs> Anything else? Probably. Oh, respect. Yeah. The respect you give to others, to yourself, yeah. you receive, yeah. all of it. Like treat others the way you want to be treated. So how to do that? Yeah. <laughs> Doing something that makes you happy. Doing something that makes you happy. Why is that a problem? Well, it's hard to figure out what actually makes you happy and you might be doing something for a really long time and you think it makes you happy and then one day you just realise that it doesn't. Yeah, yeah, so, so, about that. So, so, um, so pretty much differentiating between short-term happiness and gratification. Something like, um, a lot of people, a lot of people think that drinking alcohol makes them happy. Yeah. But it will only make you happy for now. But when you wake up and you're feeling bloated, tired, lethargic, and your health is going downhill, that won't make you happy long term. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But something like as well as your surroundings, yeah. like doing something that yeah. you think is yeah. Normal. Yeah. So so. You enjoy it on? Things that might oh, be <coughs> feel healthy for you might be unhealthy to others. Yes. Yeah. In that aspect, I beg your pardon. It might be healthy, or it feels healthy or good to you. It might be bad or unhealthy to others. If you're yeah, it. yeah. So every everyone's everyone's perspective, everyone's perception of health is different depending on their mindset. Everything that we do in life comes from the inside, like yeah. the way we see things. Yeah. Somebody might somebody might wake up and say that say that oh. It's, it's a shitty day, it's rainy and it's cold and somebody might wake up and say oh it's a good day, I'm yeah. glad to be alive someone might say yeah. I like the rain, I'll, yeah. I'll go without an umbrella yeah. Yeah. some people will go, 
I want to go outside because it's thunder and lightning and I really hate the rain. Yeah. And so, then go outside. Yeah. yeah. Well, what, what do we call that? Gratitude? Yeah. It's being grateful? Yeah. That, that'd be, I would say, a different perspective, but two different perspectives yeah. of life. Yeah. Well, that's right. Okay, any other thing, Guy? Yeah, um, creativity and thinking process. <laughs> creativity and thinking process. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so how to be creative, how to, much, yeah. yeah, yeah, creative about... The confidence to be yeah. creative, or... Creative about just, what? It, it sort of links in with everything, I guess. Yeah. It's like, you know, the confidence to be creative, the motivation to create something. Yeah. That sort of thing. Yep, yep. What did you say, sorry, creativity and... Creativity and thinking process. And thinking process. Anything else, guys? Um, what's the meaning of life to you two? And what have you found to be the meanings of your own life? Life. That's good. Okay, life. Mm. Life is... Life is being... Your authentic self and doing whatever your purpose is, like helping others and yeah, when when you're your authentic self because most of the time we pretend to be who we're not, then we end up doing jobs that we don't like, dating people that we're not pretending to be in relationship that we don't fit in for convenience and I don't know of all that but then if you're in a relationship that you don't feel like being in or if you're doing a job that you don't feel like doing that's that's not living yeah but if if you're being yourself you like there's a lot of people who always have a lot of things going in there and they're not they're not who they are. They're not, you know what I mean? Life is just being your authentic self and doing mm -hmm. what you want to do, what makes you happy. There is, how can you explain it? I don't, I'm trying to well, I haven't, here. one thing I, I, I learned, um, so I'm 31 guys, I don't know, what's the oldest age in here? Um, Oh, awesome. So I don't know. <laughs> 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 twenty nine. Yeah. So, so, so twenty five. Yeah. yeah, Phyllis was five. Yeah. So I'm not, I, I'm Who's like, the youngest? <laughs> Who's the youngest? Yeah. Twelve. 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 I remember I my my all my twenties were just yesterday pretty much. Um and one thing I learned in my twenties was that life is a beautiful struggle. So we're going to go through so many incredible struggles in our life, but there's beauty in all of it. I don't know if that really makes much sense, but it's something that I remember often. I remember I went through a really tough time in my l mid to late twenties and I probably spent a good three to four years trying to work out who I was, what I was doing that I was enough, that I was loved, didn't really understand. I didn't know that I was loved. Um, I didn't actually know what love was, what that meant as in being in a relationship with someone, love from my parents, love from my brother and sisters. I I grew up, I had a, don't get me wrong, I had a great upbringing, but there was that disconnect between emotional, between myself and my family, because we were all very shy and introverted people. Um, so we actually didn't know how to express love with each other. We didn't, we never said, I love you to each other. We never hugged. Um, we just sort of, I guess there was an unspoken existence. Yeah. 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 We just existed. Um, and I can see how that's impacted some people in my family. Um, I've, I went searching. I, I got to 27. And I was like, something, something's not right. What, like, what, 
what is it that I don't know? And I, I just decided one day to go searching to work out what it was. I packed my bags, I hopped on a plane, I went to Peru, I volunteered for a month, I went to Miami, where I lived for three months. Um, and I took a giant leap when I went over to Miami, didn't know how I was going to make it happen, but ended up taking the step and everything just sort of fell into place. Um, and it was whilst I was over there, giving myself breathing space and time to think um, and focus on myself, it was then that when I was surrounded by all these incredible people that taught me all these valuable lessons was that I was enough and that I was loved. That's one thing that I really had to take out of my 20s that has changed my life completely. And I think that's what, what we do for a living is we get adults um, anywhere between the age of 30 and 50 coming to us and they don't know that they're loved. They're, they're depressed, anxious, overweight because <coughs> they work a million hours a week thinking it's all about, I don't know, making money or whatever it is, thinking that money's going to make them happy or all these big things are going to make them happy. And then they come to us and they don't know themselves. They're, they're lost, aren't they? And they're, yeah, people, yeah. People, people just, and that brings us back to happiness, what happiness. People chase all these things for instant gratification, like people do drugs, alcohol, people want to go out partying, people want to buy cool cars, people want to earn more money, but they get to the end, they have all the money, but they're not happy. Why? Because happiness comes from the inside. Like, that won't make you, nothing will make you. People who have money will tell you that money don't make you happy. Otherwise, we wouldn't have people like celebrities killing themselves and stuff like that. And happiness has to come from the inside. Most of the time, we try to distract ourselves with the little things like chasing more money instead of working on ourselves. Yes. Like right now, there's somebody seated maybe at the crowd, having dinner that costs 500 a plate, with a beautiful lady. They're not in love, they're just there because of their money and they're not happy. But there's somewhere, somewhere, there's also someone, a couple somewhere in St. Kilda or whatever, having fish and chips, $10, but they're the happiest people in the world. You know what I mean? You it, can it, probably also it, talk yeah. about, it's like, kind of some... from Africa, people have nothing. Yeah. But they're so much happier than what we yeah. are here. Where, where I come from, my whole life, uh, one of the greatest things that has ever happened to me is being born and raised in Africa. If I was to be, I love Australia, I love being an Australian citizen, but if I was to be born again and pick a country, I would pick Africa again. It has taught me so much. It has taught me to be happy with nothing. People chase life. We didn't have the many toys. We played in mud and, mm. yeah, like made toy cars from <clears throat> milk cartons and stuff like that. And people, they're the happiest kids, the happiest people. People don't get depressed. People, because people already know that this is the way life is supposed to be. When we come to first world countries, we already have this perception that life is supposed to be perfect. And when we already have that perception that life is supposed to be perfect and then life gets imperfect, that's when people get depressed. But if you already know that right now life is perfect, but nothing is promised tomorrow, anything could change. If you already know that you expect it, you will know how to handle it. But we already have a blueprint of how life is supposed to be, the perfect life. You should have money in your savings. You should have a perfect family. You should have a perfect relationship. You should be performing well at school all the time. Then when shit hit the fan, <laughs> that's when everybody, people get depressed. Everybody gets depressed. But when you already know, like I know right now, that, like pe pe people ask us all the time that, oh, why do you like the hail every Saturday? Why do you do what you do? It's passion. But then we do it for life. We do it for that. When you get that call that your loved one has passed away or something. Because truth is, at 
one point we're all gonna die and at one point everyone that you know and you love is gonna die the, what happens when they die like do you, do you die with them do you die with them or you continue with your life how are you gonna handle after that you know what i mean yeah because that's gonna happen yeah but what happens after that is all that matters how you handle adversity that's what makes the difference yeah the easy days in life will always be easy it's the hard days that make the difference and that's when we'll talk about it you need things like structure in your life to manage every situation yeah so happiness it doesn't come from material things it doesn't come from money it doesn't come from these things help i guess they they they're there but they basically give us that quick hit of I'll go a bit scientific here, but a quick hit of dopamine, um, where we feel good, okay? But the best way for us to, to find joy, to keep moving forward, um, to be healthy, to be balanced, is to have a balance between all the chemicals in our body. And I'll go through this because I think it makes a lot of sense, but there's four chemicals and sometimes we're um, out of balance with some of them, and this is very in, simpl in simplistic forms, but when from hunter gatherer time, okay, we were born and humans were built for survival. So back then, when we were hunter gatherers, we would have to run away from predators. We would have to hunt for our own food, um, and to survive, we would have to reproduce. Okay, so endorphins were released when when someone is running away from a predator. So to help that human being repeat that behavior and run away from a predator, predator to survive, endorphins <laughs> are released after they've done the hard work and run away. The endorphins make them feel good. Okay, endorphins we get from working hard, from exercise. The other one, dopamine, we get a hit of dopamine when we achieve things. You know when we tick things, tick a list? Yeah. Yeah, that feels good. So satisfying. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, so you get a hit of dopamine when you tick. You also get a hit of dopamine when you have a drink of alcohol, when you have a cigarette, when you take some drugs, when you're on social media. All those things give us a hit of dopamine as well. Um, did I say why that comes? Uh, that, so we he get it back in hunter gatherer time, we used to get a hit of dopamine when we would get food, basically. So we'd hunted food, we got it. That means that would help us to keep hunting it, hunting food. Serotonin, we get serotonin releasing our body when we oh, bless you. Bless you. <laughs> when we um when we feel proud of ourselves and when other people feel proud of us. So for example, being in a room like this, coming here every week, there's people in this room who are proud of you. That makes you feel good, that makes you want to keep doing, that makes you want to keep turning up. So and that's when we that's how we back in hunter gatherer times when we built communities and tribes and we would live together. Okay, that, that helps the species to continue. And then oxytocin is released when we feel loved. So when, we feel, when we're in a trusted environment, similar to this again, when, we, when other people love us, when we love ourselves, um, and that allows us to reproduce. So it allows us to build relationships with people. Okay, so these are the chemicals which help us survive back when we were hunter-gatherers. That's no different today. We're still human beings, but we're surrounded by different environments, aren't we? We're surrounded by environments which give us a hit of dopamine as soon as we want it. If we want it, we can get it straight away. We don't know how to work hard anymore. We don't know how to believe in ourselves to go chase something, to go do something. Um, we're not building connections with other people because we're comparing ourselves to each other. We're staying indoors more. We're on our phones more. Instead of, if, if we've got a problem, instead of going to talk to someone and build that relationship with someone, we'll go have a drink instead. It's, it's, it's normal now. So, what when we try and help someone, we're trying to help realign, realign, if that's the right word, but help rebalance their chemicals to come out at the, the right time, I guess. So, for example, the way we live our life, we follow a structure. Okay, so structure, most adults don't follow structure. Um, 
sometimes as kids we rebel from structure as well and because we think it's it's holding us down and not giving us freedom we all want freedom but structure is actually what gives us freedom okay structure keeps us clear gives us, gives us clarity and helps us to feel good so that's what gets like it's not we don't have motivation every day we have a reason why we do it we have a very strong reason why but we have habits and structure that we stick to because we know if we stick to it we feel better and better every single week all right so for example if people start to build if people aren't exercising they're never really getting that bit of endorphins are they they're never getting that feel good feeling i feel good so so we need to help for us we need to help show people or get them to build that habit of exercise because with the exercise they get that hidden endorphins and that's what makes them feel good. The next one is dopamine. So the way I guess we do things and we're both come from, well, Ronnie will tell you, but he's come from a heavy drinking background and I've come from other, other areas, but dopamine is now released for us when we chase goals, when we achieve things. And so we're now in the habit of continuously following our goals and achieving them and once we get once we once dopamine starts to be released for the right reasons it reinforces that behavior and that habit okay so it doesn't happen straight away it will take a long time to transition um, but then that comes back to support and having the right people um, because you can't do this alone you need you need support and the two other two that I spoke about, serotonin and oxytocin, I also think these are probably the most important ones actually to keep people going because they're it's what it's what keeps us together. Love keeps us together, trust keeps us together. So if you're constantly not feeling proud of yourself, if people around you aren't showing you that they're proud of you and and lifting you up, you're never gonna get that release of serotonin in your body. And serotonin, again, makes you feel joy, happiness, feel good. So we, we need to start, find a way to start do things that helps release that serotonin. Um, and big part of our business and what you guys do here, you guys will be getting a hit of serotonin every time you come here. That's why you leave feeling amazing. And that's why you keep coming back. Because you feel loved. Um, people are proud of you, you're achieving things. And that's a big role for us at Imani as well. We're providing that environment for people. Um, and we, we need to choose these environments. So what you guys have done, I don't know if you've done it on your own bat or someone's brought you here, but you've turned up, you know, it takes courage to turn up to something like this. It's, it's incredible. You've put yourself in this environment, which is fucking amazing. Like you're giving yourself this incredible opportunity. It's, it's unreal. So many people aren't, aren't, aren't doing these kind of things. Um, and the last one is oxytocin. So we sort of build a wall when it comes to love, don't we? We don't let it in just in case we're going to get hurt. Um, but it's so... Uh, and this is one that I was craving for a really long time because I didn't actually know what it meant. I was always so hard on myself. I didn't actually know what it meant to love myself or be loved by others. I never let it in. I was misindependent. I could do everything on my own. I didn't need anybody. Um, and then when I sort of learnt that's what I was missing and started to let that in and let people love me and actually see that they do care about me, um, that changed a lot. So does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. So it's a bit complex, but when we start... And it start with one, start with one behavior and, and f find someone to help you with it. But once you start with one, it's sort of like, you know, it, Chain reaction. yeah. And then, so you, you can't, you can't master everything at once. It's, it's not going to happen. If you try, that's when everyone wants to give up um, and throw in the towel. But for example, um, yeah, starting on one and then that starts to, yeah, snowball and chain reaction. To, um, one, one a bit affects, affects the other. Yeah. Um, who knows what an habit is? Do you understand what it is? 
what I may taste and what's meant to do. Yeah, what a habit. Repetitive action. Say that again. Said, repetitive repetitive action. action. Yeah. Yeah. What, why why do we have habits? It's like it's like an ingrained behavior. Yeah. Like yes to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, yeah. Those are all right, but why? <laughs> okay, so habits are meant to make everything easy. The brain doesn't want to do the work. It has like makes it easy. Like it's automatic. It's like being on autopilot. The things you do and you don't even realize they're habits because the brain already you don't need to think. It takes away the thinking, you know what I mean? And the way I'll jump in. If we didn't have habits, we wouldn't be able to learn new stuff every day. Because our brain would be trying to remember how to do, how to brush your teeth every single day. So it, habits allow us to keep learning and, and evolving. Yeah. So that's what I is. Unfortunately, there's good and bad habits. And all our habits, there's little habits, but there's normally what we call the, the keystone habit, the cornerstone habit. That's what affects everything. From what you do every day, from... What you do the first thing in the morning, the last thing, it's affected with the cornerstone habit. So for example, one of those can be self-belief. Yeah, someone who doesn't believe in themselves, that will affect all the other things. That will affect their confidence. That will affect even relationship. The people who don't believe in themselves and they end up, they end up just going for people who don't deserve it. You know, that affects their relationship, their relationship. See how it's, it's a snowball effect? Everything is affected. All their people who are people pleasers. And then, that's a connection habit. When you're a people pleaser, what happens? Your friend asks you to help them make a baby shower or help them do something. Or do you wanna, yeah, yeah, or do you, you wanna come for a drink with me? You always saying yes to other people, not to yourself. What happens when you're saying no to yourself? You're not getting enough sleep, you're not eating your food or you're not shopping for your food. Or you're not doing your schoolwork or whatever you're supposed to do. You're not going for your walk. You're not going to the gym, whatever, whatever in life. Then what happens when you're not focusing on yourself? You keep going down there. You're doing everything for other people, but not focusing on, on ourselves. Then most of the time you find that it, it turns to a point where we start doing everything for other people and forgetting ourselves because we're distracting ourselves from our reality. So we start filling other people's bucket because our, our bucket is empty. Habits are, are really funny. But the way habits work is, there's what is known as the habit loop. So there's always a cue, routine, then reward. Like sitting in front of the TV, getting a packet of chips, that's a routine. Every time you pick, sit in front of the TV, you get a packet of, of chips or chocolate or a bottle of beer, then your reward is sugar that you get from that. Oh, you feel good. Yeah. Stress relief. Yeah, you feel good. So all habits are the same. There's always a habit loop. There's always one thing. There's like who always wants a choc choc when they go to the movies? Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Even if you tell yourself I'm gonna say no this week. You still do it. It's connected. Bring a pack of chips with you? Yeah. But the but the the yeah the the queue in the movies you do that routine. I always get popcorn fruit. Yeah, well, there you go. It's there, you can smell it, you can't judge us. No, no, I'm not, no, I'm not trusting you. It's just the, um, the habit loop, yeah. Yeah, so everything, everything started, like, even coming in here, it's a cue. There's the things that you do when you come in here. You know what I mean? Yeah. Everyone has what they do when they come in here, when they, when they see Calvin, yeah. yeah, there's everyone has what they do. You have what you do when you get up. Do you go to people have even like simple can be a simple thing like brushing your teeth. You you can shower then brush your teeth. But when you go to when you go for an holiday you might do the opposite because everything is the cue is different, you know what I mean? Everything has been misplaced. So habits are there to make things easy for us. Make us make life. Take away the thinking. Yep. Yeah, so everything starts from 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 uh, from our habits. Anyway, habits aside, all these things 
that are on here we're gonna cover but we're gonna start with is there anyone in here who has a goal <coughs> you have a goal in life what's your goal buddy uh, a bit of a big one it's a commercial part of the Qantas and a world renowned leader nice. yeah yeah cool yeah, yeah. yeah. what's your why <laughs> sorry what's your why um i get a lot of well i i receive a lot of happiness from when i actually engage myself in doing those things yeah and i believe that the purpose of life is finding personal happiness yeah yeah that. yeah anybody else has a goal yeah uh, my goal in life is to become a theatre actress yeah nice, yeah. nice. why is that well, I get a lot of self-expression from acting. I find a way to express myself and who I am. Yeah. And my goal to do that is to show people who I am as a person and to show them that I am physically capable to show, to express myself in more ways than just telling them how I feel. Yeah. Why, why do you want to show people that? Because it shows the real me. I want to become an author and artist. <coughs> yeah. I like writing and I also like drawing. Yeah. I'd like to be a police officer. Yeah. Nice. Good. Anybody else? Mine is sort of the same as you guys, I guess. Um, I want to build gyms all around the world to spread. Um, positivity and awareness about mental health. Mm, yeah. Because cool. um, I think the trouble with gyms nowadays, they only care about how much money people go in yeah. each time, but they're not checking up on their clients. Yeah. 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 Would I get free membership? <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. <clears throat> Who else has that go? So a couple here. Yes, go. <laughs> um, the Travel okay. Australia in a van. Yeah, cool. Awesome. What type of fan, fam? A cool one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why, why is that? Um, cause like I haven't done it before, but like it's what I love to do and to meet different people and to see different places and, and just enjoy Australia yeah. as a whole. Yeah. Okay, guys, let's make it. This one here. Yeah. Oh. Hang on a second. Let's make it more specific. So let's go. Let's go long term goals instead of short term goals. Like, what's your goal in life? Your long-term goal in life? Okay. Sure. Uh, both you. Yes. Did you have a <coughs> Yeah. That's you, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, professional volleyball player for Australia. Cool. Oh, that's cool. Nice. Do you play volleyball now? Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay. Good stuff. State on Saturday. Oh wow! I expect to see you with a gold medal. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so one day. Yeah. No, some sort of medal. That'd be nice. <laughs> yeah. Um, I got two. One's more of a lifestyle than a goal, I'd say. But um, one's uh, doing aerobatics as a pilot, and um, two would be knowledge. I like to learn. So. Yep. Um, I want to be a youth worker. Why is that? I just like working with young people and volunteering and all that. So, yeah. and the easy. What, <laughs> so what does that give you? Uh, what does that give you? Uh, it gives me like life knowledge. So, like, I've, I've met a lot of people with different experiences already. And so, it yeah. gives you a lot of knowledge to go through life and learn new stuff. Okay. Become an author? Yeah. Ooh. And then one more at the back then. Or two more. Two more at the back? Basically, I'm a magician. Oh. I want to take that, it's basically my full on goal. I want to take that and build it not only as a business but as like a lifestyle as well. I want yeah. to take that travel around different places, meet different people, and you know, find different ways to interact yeah. and see how different people interact with yeah. other people. Yeah. 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 I would like to become a board member at BB. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Um, and I'd like to earn money like that. Cool. Do cool. what I want. Yeah. 
Um, I want to travel overseas more and like go to countries that struggle and help them learn English and like build their skills and stuff. That's good. That's cool. That's cool. Good job, guys. You're, yeah. You're, yeah. Wonderful. <laughs> you're wonderful people. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to teach you something about goals. Do you want to go about smart goals? Very okay, goals. We'll go about why. I already talked about the why. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so having goals is cool. But then, without having a strong why, why you want all those things, we never get to achieve them. If you know your why, you will always find your how. And if you don't know your how, your why is not strong enough. Yeah. So, a lot of people know what they want but are not taking action. You know, they know what they want, they know what to do to get what they want, but they're not taking action. Why? Because they're not seeing, they're not looking at the bigger picture, they're not understanding why they want what they want. So, for example, who is... One of the people who just told us their goals. Are you, are, are you gonna... Are we gonna work your why out? Like your goal, what did you say your goal was again? One to be line. yeah. Um to be a chief part of the contest and a world renown later. Yeah. So let's pick one. Uh let's go with the one, for example, leader or pilot. Let's work on one for now. Pilot. Pilot. Why do you want to be a pilot? Um, because I love aviation and I love experience in the sky. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, as as a kid I didn't like just being kind of like on the ground all the time or it's yeah. just like I, I don't just want to be restricted to the surface of the air yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so you, you you're passionate about it mm -hmm. yeah any deeper reason again any other thing or um, reasons why what it's would that just be? like when I'm in the sky there's nothing to worry about yeah there's yeah. just um, as you guys have covered there's just process mm -hmm. and just going over that process again and again keeps like maintaining safety, certain conditions, certain rules for those conditions. Um, and there's just nothing else to think about. Keep you present. Yeah. 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 Okay. Just keep me focused. Um, and once you get away from like controlled aerodromes and stuff, it's just quiet. Yeah. And you just, the flying just becomes, you're there and you just think. Yeah. Then what does that give you? Uh, peace. 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 Yeah. yeah. What does peace give you? Um, in life, what does peace give you? What's um, the difference between peaceful people and people are not peaceful? Well, if there was a world of peaceful people, there wouldn't be war, and yeah. we wouldn't be destroying our own race. You know. Yeah. Um, so there would just be serenity. We wouldn't. We wouldn't be fighting one another. We'd be growing. We'd be exploring yeah. together. Anybody knows what peace gives us? Nothing new. Tranquility. <laughs> yeah. Sort of <laughs> yeah. 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 Makes Happiness. Makes us smile. Makes us feel happy. Yeah. Like we've done something for the world. Yeah. Makes you yeah. feel safe. Yeah. 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 So, happiness, freedom. What else? Yeah. Okay. Let's look at the bigger picture, guys. So what, what we're trying to do, like, I'll, I'll use mine as an example because I can really explain it well. Uh, my goal in life, like, I have all these little goals that I'm working towards, and those little goals are little steps that are going to get me to where I want to be in life. So everything that I do in life, what does that give me eventually? Like waking up at 4 a.m. every day apart from Sundays and going for my walks every day, training four times a week, always cooking my food at home, eating my vegetables, all that, reading books, doing things that are good for my mind, yoga, and all that, taking, my, taking care of myself, loving myself. One, nobody's going to love you if you don't love yourself. If I didn't love myself, I wouldn't be with that. And 
people are only, people are only gonna love you as much as you love yourself and everyone is always gonna abuse you as much as you abuse yourself people are always, this is why you get girls who are in a relationship and they get bashed but they keep on going to that person because they believe in their head that i don't i deserve to be treated like this but if someone ever abuses you more than you abuse yourself that's when people break up and stuff like that happen but with the with with everything that i do like all this fitness health workshop they lead me to my end goal which is to be loved to love and to be loved and to get the freedom be happy get the freedom that i want yeah because if i don't look at myself if i become part of the other population what's gonna happen i'm gonna get to the end then all my money that i have on savings will go on my hospital bills i won't have that freedom she probably won't be with me i don't want to get to a point where i'm worried that she's gonna look at someone else so someone is gonna take her because like i don't love the way i feel on my skin because when you don't like the way you feel on your skin and you're doing nothing about it or you don't like when you don't like something about your life what you need to do is you need to change it because if you don't change it and pretend to be someone else you're gonna attract the person you, you attract who you are so if this is me and i'm pretending to be her i'm gonna attract someone who is attracted to her not me so that's how things backfire so everything that i do in life eventually will give me love and freedom it doesn't matter there's different goals whether you want to be a pilot whether you want to be your goals should always be linked to your dreams like can i talk more about that well i don't know how much time do <laughs> <laughs> 15 or so minutes. Oh, yeah. Time. Yeah. Another 10 minutes. Do you need longer? Well, what? We're going to a team <laughs> session tomorrow morning. We're staying until midnight. Yeah! Text your parents. Sleep over. Sleep over. Everything's done. It's super important to find a why or have a why. That's, yeah, that really is the, the basis of where everything starts. How do you find your why? <laughs> How you find your why? From your goals. Write your goal down. Once you write your goal, ask yourself why you want that goal. Then answer it. Like it's somebody, going, yeah. somebody can say, I want to be fit and sexy. <laughs> Why do you want to be fit and sexy or fit and healthy? Answer it. Then ask yourself why you want that again. Answer it until you can't answer it anymore. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Write it down in a paper. Keep asking why. Why do you want that? Why? 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 Until, because most of the time we're not self-aware. Like, for example, we look at things, we're in a society where we look at things like shallowly, sort of like uh, nutrition, we train people, nutrition, fitness, blah, blah, blah. But what does that give them? We're giving them their life back. We give them, we're giving them freedom. You know what I mean? It's not just food, teaching them how to eat and how to train and how, to, why do you want to lose weight? You know what I mean? That's gonna that's gonna give you freedom to choose to wear what you want that's gonna give you freedom to not hide at mcdonald's because you're scared people are gonna look at you when you're eating your food you know what i mean that's gonna give you a freedom to wear a bikini and go to go to the beach that's gonna like when you look at it that way and really understand why you do the things you do that really yeah changes it so yeah Yeah. And like it's taken me a long time to do that. Yeah. So I'm 
feeling good in myself. Yeah. So, yeah, you just got to feel good in yourself so mm. you can keep on going, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And um, it's, a hard, it's a hard battle. But yeah. yeah. And you can also take something away that's been bad for you. Yeah. So I've taken two things away, kind of. Yeah. Well, one I have, but the other one I haven't. Yeah. Okay, very good. So, yeah. So, so most of the time, uh, like, sorry, I'm trying to wind it because it's so uh, great. You, no matter what you look like, you're already worthy of love. Like, regardless of what you look like, you're already worthy of love. You have to know that. Like, you have to know that. You, you have to love. know that, and it has to start from the from the inside. No matter what you look like, no matter where you're coming from, no matter what's happening in your life, you we all deserve love. But then we also have to be honest with ourselves. Sometimes sometimes like in life we tell ourselves beautiful lies. Like, oh, it's alright. Oh. Somebody else is worse off than me. Look, you know, we make, we look at people who are worse than us to make it, make us feel good, to justify. Look, it's all right. Oh, I'm still doing well. Look at so and so. They're worse than me. They're probably on heaps of medication. You know what I mean? But in reality, you know that this is it. Because it doesn't matter how long we run away from the reality. It's going to catch up to that at some point. We can't. Yeah, you can only run from school for so long. And the sooner you confront it, the better. Yeah, because whatever you are, like, even in here, if I'm serving you guys, I'm talking to you guys today, and I'm not looking after myself, what's going to happen is that I'll only be giving you what's left of me and not the best of me. I'll be standing here like panting and, oh, I'm tired, I just want to go home, I don't have energy, um, you know what I mean? Basically yeah. giving us scraps. Yes, yeah. that's it, yeah. that's it, yeah. So, for you to give the best part of you to others, you have to look after yourself, you have to, you, you have to put yourself first, it's not, it's okay to put yourself first. I, I put myself first before, because I know that if I don't put myself first before, I'm not going to be... The best partner for her. and she does the same if i want to go for a walk and she doesn't want to go for a walk because she's sick or she's having a bad day cool i'll still do it anyway because at the end of the day like we are our own problems or solution i want you guys to really remember this if there's one two of the most important things i want you to remember tonight is that one you are our own problem and solution like it doesn't matter what happens in here you can be given all the support that you need, but people will only take what they need or what they're ready for. Nobody's gonna save you until you save yourself, no matter what happens. And another one is this, life is 10% of what happens to you and 90% 90, 90 mm -hmm. of what you react to. Comes back to, comes back to controlling what you can control in life. You can't stop the rain, but you can use the umbrella. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, it's always going to rain. Yeah, it's always going to rain. You can't stop that, but you can use the umbrella. Don't need an umbrella. So, yeah. Just depends on tree. And I'd love to finish on that. Your why. Have it connected with something else where it goes further. So everything I do, I do because I know I'm going to help someone else. Okay. Yes, I get rewarded in the process, but I was an incredibly shy kid, adult as well. But I knew if I didn't find a way to be confident, I was every other shy girl was going to struggle. So that was so that was that that was part of my why. Okay, if I. If I can't learn to love myself, how is any other female going to learn to love herself? If, and that's what being a leader is. Taking a step out into the unknown and going, this is bigger than me. This is not just about me. This is about someone else. I don't know, I don't even know who, they, who it is. But they're going to watch me do this 
and I know that even if even if I struggle through it, they're gonna learn from it, and they're gonna they're gonna take a step. Like someone in here today is gonna go, "Fuck it, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it now. I'm gonna chase my dreams." Like you know, that's scary. <laughs> it's passion. It's passion. She's believing in herself. Yeah, but no, we know how to swear. It's yeah. all right. <laughs> I'm addicted to Put swearing. It's okay. Yeah. Like, we all doesn't matter who you are. We all have this incredible power in ourselves to change the world one person at a time, one thing at a time. Doesn't matter who you are. You're you're enough. You're loved and. You have incredible talents. Like I had to find it, had to go through a process to find my strengths and really understand what they were. Like no one else has those strengths. No one else is like me. So and so you focus on those strengths, but connect your why back to something deeper than than yourself. Make it bigger than yourself. Think of your and passion. Then, and then that, and then when it's bigger than you, on the days when you are exhausted, feeling like crap, unmotivated, that's what gets you up in the morning. That's what gets you out of bed. Even if you just do one thing, it's enough. That's why I like uh, when, when you say the reason why you wanted to be a pilot, because like, somebody asked about motivation. Motivation is, I don't want to swear, but Forget about motivation. It doesn't exist. It all comes back to your why. When you know your why, you'll be motivated. You know what I mean? And motivation also has to come from the inside. When it comes, internal motivation. When it comes from the outside, that's when we get confused. For example, someone who sings because they love singing is different to someone who sings because they want to be a celebrity. The person who sings because they want to be a celebrity, when shit hit the fan, and they're not famous, they're going to quit singing. But if you're singing because you love singing, even on hard days, you're going to continue. So it comes back to being authentic, your authentic self. And when you're your authentic self, you don't have to, when you're your authentic self, you don't have to hide or pretend to be who you're not. You're so good at being, at being yourself. And what happens when you're so good at being yourself? That's where the confidence comes. See how all these things are related to the why? You nail your why? You know your goal, your why, all these things that you guys say are going to be covered. You just need to know why you want what you want. Have a dream. Have a goal that is related to your dream. Know your why. And when you know your why, when you find your why, you will know your how. If you don't know your how, your why is not strong enough. And most of the time, when your why is not strong enough, you probably doing something from external motivation. It's not your passion. Like, yeah, like being a pilot because it's a cool job. It's famous, you know what I mean? Not because you you like the feeling or you like flying. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Yeah. 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 Was that helpful? Yeah. Yeah. Any, any questions that we, anybody has any questions that we can go through before we wrap up? All good? Anything that you're struggling with in life? And you need an answer? I think we're all good. We <laughs> 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 have an existential crisis about already. We don't want to add on to the plate. <laughs> okay, thank you. Can we take a selfie, guys? <laughs>Week's instalment of the Bridge Wears News. As you may or may not have noticed last week, we weren't here. That's because it was the Queen's birthday holiday, so hopefully you did something that, uh, you know, you found a way to bide your time during that weekend and did something perfectly <laughs> enjoyable instead of coming here. But now, you are back here, and now while you're here, you're going to hear about what we normally hear about for the news. So we'll start with Wabab. That's our membership program. So that's coming up in two weeks' time from now. Yeah, double check the notes. Two weeks' time from now. So that's the first Monday of every month. That means you'll be able to participate in our events. We've still got a few left in for this year, so if now's the time that you're ready to become a member, now's the time you should become a member. So what that means is you've come to Bridge Builders four times, and you've had our, you've gone through our membership session, which is the first Monday of every month at six o'clock 
in the boardroom over there that I keep pointing to. You don't see that, but you just see me pointing to a set of speakers. I'm pointing to a boardroom. All right. Nice. <laughs> but anyway, that's enough about Wubab because you'll learn more about that as that becomes relevant to you. So also something else that we have coming up soon is our next Tribal Wars. Now, if you came to our last one, you'll know we had a themed night for that one. We're also having a themed night for this one. Isn't that going to be fun? So, now you have a lovely flyer put up on the screen. So, get all prepared and nice and hyped for that. Like I said, that's only three weeks away. So, get groovy. So, this, this thing I'm going to talk about now is also something that's come out in... Four weeks, four weeks this time. That's a week after Tribal Wars. So as you can see, there's a lot going on here at Bridge Builders for the next little while. But this one is our wannabe uh, bridge talent. Bridge Builders got talent, look at that. I'm also gonna put up a flyer on the screen for this one. If you want more information about this one, you're gonna have to talk to Paris. She'll be in the room Monday night somewhere. She'll make herself known at some point, I'm sure. Anyway. Until then, I'll pass over to someone else for the last part of the news. Hey guys, as you've seen previously on the news and on our social media, we want volunteers to help out in the office. And by being a volunteer, you can get one of these lovely certificates. And each colour means a different level, so there's four different levels going up. Um, by being a volunteer, you can learn how to clean desks, do some dishes, shredding, post items, make some B&I cards. Um, do some filing, answer phones, you can even make some phone calls, you can learn how to make certificates and all that type of stuff. Um, being a volunteer really is actually a fun time because you get learning a whole bunch of different things that can help you later on in life and like that type of thing. So if you'd like to become a volunteer, just contact an or see Naomi and she can help you sign up to be a volunteer. That's all for tonight. <laughs>